What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Cece from the CB and CC show. I'm coming to you guys live and direct from my bed, of course. Um, so this morning, I just wanted to get with y'all to let y'all know that I am feeling so positive. I went to the doctor yesterday, the fibromyalgia doctor yesterday, and not only was he the bomb.com, he was a black man. He gave me motivation. He sat and he talked to me for like 45 minutes. I've never had a doctor do that within the last couple of years. Most doctors and they nurses and they PAs, they come and talk to me and they come and talk to the patients but this guy was interested in what's going on with me and he was just letting me know be patient it's coming you gonna overcome this this is nothing it's not like you fat from eating burgers because as everybody know that this is definitely a pet peeve of mine like I don't like being 198 pounds it makes me overwhelmed it makes me sad it makes me depressed because I don't feel attractive but my husband loves me supposedly hint hint I'm just joking it's like so funny. I crack myself up sometimes. But anyway, I'm um I'm in a better place right now, and I just want to let y'all know that depression has definitely not got me. I am sad sometimes, but today I am not sad. I might be sad in a couple hours, but right now, honey, I am feeling positive, uplifted. I'm thinking positive. I'm looking positive. I'm about to get dressed today, honey, and I'm going to the mall. I'm going to go shopping. This is stuff that I haven't done in so long because I hate to get dressed. I hate to be seen, but at the end of the day, this is what I have to do to get where I have to get. Um, a lot of people have to also understand is that it's not that I don't work out or I don't move around or anything like that. It's just that my body swells up so bad to where I can't move around, to where my body and my joints are so tight from fluid that it's hard to move around. So I can't just go jog like I used to. I used to go jogging all the time with my friend Allison um, Armstrong from Clarksville. Hey, girl. I used to go uh, working out with her. She used to have like a treadmill in her, um, her garage, and we used to work out together and you know, walking the kids back and forth to the bus stop. And I used to go to the gym and I used to do all of that. But right now my body's not capable of it, but my mind is, and I'm not going to allow the doctors or nobody else to tell me that I have to be patient. I have to wait for high blood pressure. I have to wait for diabetes. I have to wait for my heart to clog up. I have to wait until I'm 290 pounds. Like I'm not about to allow that to happen. And at first I did, I allowed the doctors to tell me, okay, chairs, just lay down, chill, hang out, be careful. Pain is going to happen. I'm going to be in pain. So I may as well be in pain from a little workout, a little exercise, a little everything. And I was embarrassed at first to show people that I was 198 pounds because I'm a very small, petite person. Most people are used to me being 130 pounds, 125 pounds. My husband likes me at 145, 150, which I like wherever he likes me at. So I'm cool with that too. But right now, being that I'm 198 pounds, which sounds huge, I'm like, you know what, Cherish, you have to control this. I don't eat any fried foods. I don't eat any meats, but I eat extremely healthy. And I know that's not all that it has to be. I know that cushion syndrome is definitely something that is going to impact my weight. And it's going to continue to impact my weight. But what it's not going to do is not about to impact my life in a negative way. Because I'm not going to allow it to. So... Of course, guys, I just wanted to let y'all know that I went to the doctor yesterday. It was a very good appointment. It was the fibromyalgia doctor. Considering, like, the pain that I have in my body, we all know that when you have pain, like, joint pain and stuff like that, it's kind of like arthritis, but I think it's a little worse. Arthritis is more of a joint kind of pain when fibromyalgia, to me, in my body, it's like a fiery feeling all over your body. Sometimes my knees burn. Or sometimes my knees hurt, and there's nothing I can do about it. But I'm going to fight through it because I'm not about to be like a humongous woman and just that's just not what I am so I just want to let y'all know that today I am inspired I am depressed but I am inspired I am happy I'm blessed I have great friends let me give all my friends shout outs that wrote my that wrote me on here even though they talk to me every day essence I appreciate you so much girl I can't express to you how happy and how excited I am to have you in my life and how it will be uh, a, a horrible loss to lose you in my life Keisha hey girl from my hometown she's been my friend since I was 15 years old she is definitely a really good friend of mine she keeps me inspired we keep each other inspired but she definitely keeps me in check like cherish get your thinking together sad my ass today we got too much to be happy for get up and get it together tweet I send your message I appreciate that so much you don't even understand for you to be younger than me you inspire me in so many ways and you always have even when we were back at Fort Earl in California you kept me positive and you kept me motivated um, my best friend, Kia, Ugh, I love her so much. Nobody even understands how much I love her. Um, she has my godson, the best god kid ever. Well, the best god boy, because I have two god kids. I have Kelsey Parker, and then I have Kaylin, but 
anyway, that's not important. Um, what else? Who else? Janae, thanks for calling me, girl. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Because in a world where you're so busy and you have so much going on, you have your kids and your husband, you always manage to call me. And I just love having friends like that. I've lost so many friends over the years being that we are. I am a military family. I mean, I am a military wife. I've lost so many friends, some good and some bad and some I just weren't supposed to have. But I know these friends that I do have now, not only do we keep each other motivated, we keep each other positive. Whenever any of us need each other, we got each other. And I appreciate that. I'm talking about from finances to to anything so on top of me having good friends that's a positive thing on but on top of that I got an excellent family I got my cousin Kat I got my brothers I got my sisters like I am doing good in the family area my mom and my dad are living I got a stepmom I got my sister's mom I have a bunch of people who love me and I need to remember that and I need to remember that I am depressed but it's okay I have people to talk to my cousin Ebony I can call her we talk often she's down in Cali mom gay I'm just just like blessed and this morning I'm feeling it like you know what God at the end of the day I might be sad I might be depressed but I got people around me that I can talk to whether I think I can talk to them or not and sometimes they might not understand but god damn it if I gotta let it off my heart that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna call them up and I'm gonna talk to them about it they understand it or not all I need them to do is just be like I, I get it I get it or if you don't get it say you get it either or um Anyway, so yeah, look at me. I don't want to be rambling. I do that a lot. But I just wanted to get it y'all and let y'all know that this morning I am feeling motivated. I am feeling good. I am feeling the bomb this morning. And I wanted y'all to know about it. I thought that I wanted to like share it because I won't be sharing when I'm sad and when I'm just having a horrible shitty day. But today I am motivated. Um, as my sister used to say all the time, only positive minds move forward. And I keep that with me dear to my heart because that's something that motivates me. She motivates me by herself, even though she's not here. I know she's here in spirit and then I'm starting to look like her. So anyway, so all right, y'all. Bye.